Hey guys, so now we are going to talk about how to set up and use the IZEA Influencer Platform. So let's hop on over here. So when you log into IZEA.com, and the, this link is actually down in the notes underneath the video, um, you're going to come to this page. And so you will sign up as a creator. Um, these are the what we as bloggers will use to actually put out and promote the content that they are providing to us. So I already have an account, and so sign in here. If you hear any noise in the background, I have these two really crazy Doberman playing on the floor underneath my feet, and they tend to get a little crazy, so just pay no mind to it. All right, so when you first log in, um, this you, you won't see this. You will actually be prompted to start working on your profile. So this little head here, I don't actually have my avatar on it. Um, but you'll go through and just follow the prompts. Um, they will automatically pop up when you first create your account. So um, you can have an avatar here. It's going to give you a vanity URL and a bunch of different things. You'll go through your demographics and fill out your information here. Topics, this is basically what relation to your blog things that you blog about because the way this works based on your profile and what settings you have in it those are the opportunities that are going to be presented to you in the feed or sent to you via email so you know even if you like a certain topic but your blog really doesn't fall in line with that make sure you don't select that because the whole idea with this they're going to find content for you whether it's a sponsored post or someone else's content for you to share on social media so if you're you know a travel blogger and you suddenly share on social media something I don't know about pets or something that has nothing at all to do with travel it's just gonna kind of look out of place and so they're more and and also you don't automatically get approved for the ones that you apply for they're gonna look at your following to see if it you know kind of relates and you get paid for many of these when people actually click on your links in social media and read the articles. So it's really important that you select in these sections what is related to your blog or your blog audience. You can put your career in here, you know, just a little mini bio, if you will, um, your websites. Let's see, portfolio here. If you have works that you want to upload for them to see your content. So a lot of these are some of my blog posts. I actually have not been on here for a couple of months because I have been hard at work creating um, my Girl Bosses Rock Academy courses. But I will show you um, how much each thing that I had been paid for. Uh, I'll show you my pay, my pay thing here in just a minute. So... Let's see, we'll go over here to gear. If you have any gear that falls into any of these aerial video, um, like drone videos, things like that, um, there are marketers that you know will reach out to you to promote their stuff as well. So just go through each of those. Connections, you're gonna connect your different social media. And so just you know, signing up with Isaiah, when you first sign up, you'll see their, I guess their subscription plan. The free one enables you to use a certain number of platforms and then for like a dollar more or a dollar a month, which is the one I'm on, it's literally a dollar a month, it enables you to add multiple ones and that's why I went with the dollar one. So I have both of my blogs, so let me minimize it. So you have your blog, your Facebook, Google. And so again, when you fill these out, you'll connect them and then, and, and it'll prompt you, so don't. I mean, as soon as you get to this section, it's going to prompt you to enter the information. So each one of these, um, see, I have Facebook. I have my personal one. I have the one for that blog, and I have the one for that blog. So I have multiple social media accounts for, or, or multiple Facebook pages on my account. But each one of them, actually, you know, I have two blogs, but the general, um, my audience could be this could be different mine are actually the same so I have the same things checked here food fashion health lifestyle and family um, I could probably switch one of those out for social media and I would get more posts related to social media I actually had that one before and 
a lot of those posts were real techie and didn't really fall in line with the kind of stuff I promoted, so I switched them. Um, same thing, connect your Instagram. And again, you know, some of you, depending on your social media platform, you may actually have a different audience. Um, you know, you may get more of one type of audience on Facebook, but you have other people or other likes from your audience on, say, Twitter or Instagram. And so you can totally tailor these to meet what kind of stuff you actually promote on those different platforms. So I have all of mine connected there. All right, so let's come back over here. Your finances, this is where you will set up. Um, if you are on the payment plan, it, it works through PayPal. So just as long as you have some money in your PayPal account already, they'll deduct the $1 a month. Um, or if you're ready to cash out, you can just punch in how much you want to take and you will set up your uh, PayPal address email right here. Um, message center, this is where they'll send you messages. Fortunately, I'm glad they haven't sent me any messages. That's good. Okay, so once you get your profile all set up, when you log in, you'll see what we had when I first came on here. And this will vary during the year. Some months you'll get very few, um, I uh, not offers, but opportunities. So an opportunity is what's presented here. These are things we're currently marketing right now. That's an opportunity. When you bid or apply to them, that's where it's an offer. They can accept you or they cannot accept you. And so sponsorships, these are typically um, ones that you will, let's see if I can open it up here, promote. And it'll tell you in the details what the requirements are. So requirements will be to mention. Um, so this is probably a Facebook or social media post. Some of them aren't the best at explaining what they want you to do. Let me go back to this one. Let me just show you this one really quick. Content AMP is another section. And so these are the ones that I did the most of. Right now there's only three showing. So let me just click on it. You simply, to apply to one of these, if it's something that you would promote, and it's telling you here, this is something they want you to share on Twitter and Facebook, and it's a one time, and actually you don't share it by you saying that you want to participate in this campaign, they will automatically post it to your account. So there's a place in there where you'll give them permission to post only this one item. Really simple, they don't have access to anything else. And when they post it, so let's say it's you know posted to Facebook, or Twitter, whichever one, you can choose their pre-made, uh, what they want to go with it, or if you want to say something else um, as the text on the share, you can totally put that right there. And then whichever one of these, so like I have two blogs, so I have or two accounts, which one do you want it promoted on? And this $3.40 is basically the max that they would pay on this um, campaign. And so how that works is once it's shared, say on Facebook, um, if, if people actually click the link and read the article, which you can totally click on it and see what the article says just to make sure it's not something way off topic. So people actually click on it and read it. That's how you build up the payment. And so if you share it and like literally nobody um, gets on it and clicks it, then you're not going to make anything off of it. However, you know, some people do, uh, I don't recommend this, but the reciprocation threads, doing those um, and saying, you know, click anything. Sometimes people will inadvertently click on these. I would be very careful in doing those, but as long as you're sharing things that really fall in line with what your audience wants or is, is expecting from you, then chances are they're going to read it. Around the holidays, there's usually a whole bunch of these. Um, so that's that one. And then this one, we'll go back up here because there's a lot of them in this section. 
So you'll see duplicates because my veteran woman life is one blog and then I have the girl bosses rock one. Um, so let's see. So some of them are geographic specific. Um, spring allergy savers at Sam's Facebook post. Daytona Beach. American Red Cross. Tell us your story. I mean, there's there's all sorts of stuff in here that you can apply. And so the bid, so we'll just click on this one and I'll show you how to apply to them or bid for it is what I call it. So it's going to tell you the due date. You have to have applied. So this one looks like it's actually expired. Um, so this is a, we're looking for bloggers who have been touched by the Red Cross or know someone that has been helped by the Red Cross. This is a survey for a possible opportunity with the Red Cross. We're looking for bloggers. So in this one to apply, you would simply uh, complete the survey here. You'll enter your bid and it'll tell you what the minimum and the average, whatever it has on the minimum or the average is what I would put in here. And then why, um, like this one is saying don't bid. So you wouldn't enter this for this one, but if it says enter your bid, a pitch, and this is only 300 characters, so it's short and to the point why you think they should choose you to do this campaign. And then up here will be an actual button that you can click. Let me see if we can find one over here that actually has it. So this one, someone who caters to a younger mid to 20 demographics, up to date on the newest and hottest trends. The ideal candidate is someone who cares about the small details and likes to accessorize and is bold with her style in a practical way. Should be someone who loves the sun and warm weather as these items are great for the beach and hotter climate. So this would be more like a fashion blogger probably. Um, the requirements. Use one of the three photos provided and use the tracking link in the overview. So this is actually um, writing um, a blog post talking about this. Or maybe this one's for Instagram. Hold on. Files. Yeah, this one is probably for Instagram. And so you'll enter your information here. Again, your bid. I would go with the 31. Tell them why you think you should be chosen. And then you'll enter it here. It's not letting me enter anything here because this due date is already passed. And so be here. Let me go back here. So this is where you can see all the activity. Let me go back. I started in August. So you can see I actually have this is if it doesn't have these dollars, these are my monthly payment for my subscription. So anything that doesn't have that, um, this was a cash out where I had taken $55 out of my PayPal from my previous earnings. Um, I can't open these because they're already closed. But like this one was how to make the holidays. It was more for a military family uh, traveling at, or military families around the holiday, like stationed overseas, how to make their home more cozy when they when they're away from home. And so I didn't have to write this blog post. This was literally just me sharing it on my different social media. I think I had to share it on both Facebook and Twitter. And it was a flat rate. They paid me $40 simply to promote it. It didn't matter if I got clicks or not. It was simply for me to publish it on my social media. And they selected me for this one simply because my audience, my veteran woman life was, you know, I have a lot of veteran stuff and a lot of my followers are veterans or active military. And so you can see through here, um, there's a whole bunch of different ones, different amounts. And these are all, all of these were, I think, Twitter um, shares. I think the only one I got the flat rate was that $40 one, but you know, and they're small. And, and like I said, this one is just a really great way until you start building a big audience and start building a following that some of the larger influencers will actually reach out to you or accept you for their campaigns. This is a really easy way to just generate a little bit of extra um, blog income each month 
and you know if you're really active on Twitter and Facebook these will do really well for you so that's it um, you can cash out at any time um, as your balance builds up here keeping a balance here you know they'll deduct your monthly subscription if you're on a subscription but again you can totally do the free plan um, I only have the paid one simply because I do have two blogs and I want to be able to promote both of them and receive opportunities for both of them so um, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions please um, comment down underneath the video or hit us up on our girl bosses rock tribe Facebook page and I will be happy to help you get this rolling talk to you soon